absolutely guarantee you I'm going to... My home has found us. Who sent that thing? My creator. Of course. Now that I've lost everything to you... The symbiotes didn't come here by accident. They were running. From what? But then a lot of nice things turn back. What's his name then? No. No. We have something he needs. As long as Adam lives, everything will end. What are we doing? We need a disguise. Hey, man. Why do you keep knocking people out? What is wrong with you? I'm sorry. A long way. Straight ahead, the Island Man, your Island Man, coming to you live once again from beautiful Hawaii here on the island of Oahu, bringing you, yes, you, the best movie reviews on the entire island of Oahu. And yes, this is Trinidad, the Island Man, your Island Man. And uh, today, Thursday, opening day, what is this, October 24th, I went and saw the new movie, Tom Hardy's Venom 3, till death. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, there's been so many, you know, uh, things associated with the title and everything in this movie. Uh, Venom 3, The Last Dance. Uh, you know, I had heard that, you know, maybe the title was going to be uh, Till Death Do We Part. You know, I think that was used in one of the marketing things. But it's actually Venom 3, The Last Dance. And, well... Without further ado, remember our rating scale. Shock a thumbs up. It's good to see. I recommend it. Shock a thumbs down. It's junk. I don't recommend it. And, well, for Venom 3, The Last Dance, it is overall a shock a thumbs up. Uh, now, this is no Deadpool and Wolverine. Uh, but it does have some laughs in it. Um, you know, as in all the Venom movies, uh, Tom Hardy does an incredible comedic job. Uh, as this version of Venom. And uh, it's sad to know that uh, he is finished with this role of Venom. Uh, as, you know, we can easily see, it could go on and on and on uh, for quite some time. And he has expressed the desire to, if he gets to be with Tom Holland in a movie, uh, that he would reprise his Venom role. Uh, however... Uh, as this would uh, kind of uh, signify and indicate from the la from the last dance uh, title, it is Tom Hardy Hardy's last time as Venom, at least in the Sony universe. Um, you know, and this ends fairly fina finally uh, with the end of Venom, at least in in Sony anyway. Um, now, basically, this is the plot of all the other Venom movies, uh, one and two, you know, there's an alien creature that's after Brock, uh, Tom Hardy's character, and Venom, uh, but this time it is even more, uh, significant because it is sent by Venom's creator, apparently, uh, Noel, uh, which is supposed to be this dark god in the MCU, um, the creator of the symbiotes. And uh, he is, you know, the, honestly, this movie kind of reminded me a little bit of uh, Man of Steel, Superman, Man of Steel, Zack Snyder's, because all through it, they're talking about, we must find the Codex, the Codex. Because yeah. <laughs> Venom and Brock have the Codex, because Venom brought Brock back to life one time. And apparently, that doing that created the Codex, uh, the, you know, means of, I guess, renewed life or something, which is supposed to free Null from his prison that the symbiotes, uh, you know, locked him up in when they turned against him, uh, their creator. Um, we see many other symbiotes in this, uh, more so than, you know, either of the two movies combined. Uh, not sure, you know, apparently they all came from that same crash ship from the very first one. The governments had them, 
And uh, they all kind of team up in the final battle against the agents that Null has sent, uh, other aliens. Uh, kind of look like crab creatures in a way. Um, you know what? Kind of like that, uh, what was that uh, movie with Chris Pine? Or not Chris Pine, but Chris, uh, the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy, that Chris, uh, that Amazon movie. Kind of looked like those aliens where, you know, they're in the future or something. But, eh, you know, uh, it was pretty forgettable, honestly, uh, the overall plot. Um, there was a lot of talk about this Noel guy being the creator of the symbiotes. He might be the big, big, big bad of, of Sony, maybe even uh, in Marvel, you know, Disney Marvel proper, if they can get the rights back to him. Um, all that is all speculation and unclear at this time. But uh, all that talk and all that build up for this guy, you don't even see him until a post credit scene in this movie. Um, you know, which makes sense. He's locked up, you know, and he doesn't get free because Venom, they don't do get the codex. <laughs> but uh, it does seem to be the end of Venom anyways. Uh, Tom Harden's character is still around, uh, but he is symbiote free. Um, as that's the only way to destroy the codex so that Null doesn't get it is for either Brock or Eddie to die. Or I'm sorry, Brock. Brock? Yeah, Eddie Brock. Uh, to die or Venom to die. And Venom sacrifices his life to save uh, Tom Hardy's character, Eddie Brock. Um, spoilers. Um, so that, that's pretty much it uh, in a nutshell. Um, how could they bring him back? Well, at the very, very final end, there is a post credit scene of, of that bartender, remember, in Spider-Man... Um, no Way Home. Um, you know, Eddie Brock was shifted over to the MCU dimension for a moment and then shifted back to his own dimension, which is where the, the story takes place as he's trying to get back from Mexico um, or South America uh, at the very beginning of this movie. Um, but so that bartender is somehow at the end of this movie and the post credit scenes shifted to this universe, the Sony uh, Spider-Man universe, and thus is set, uh, you know, bringing that one little piece of Venom back into this universe so that if there ever is a uh, Tom Hardy, uh, you know, Tom Holland crossover, Spider-Man, Venom, Venom can this re-emerge with Tom Harding's carry Eddie Brock and and do that uh, who knows what's going to happen now uh, but pretty much this is the end of Venom and such and well that's going to be about it uh, that's about all I can say for this movie again it has some decent laughs doesn't really break any new ground uh, from what we've seen from Venom 1 or 2 um, you know, there's a heart, you know, when it's the end of Venom at the end, uh, there is a heartfelt moment and you do feel kind of something. Um, and there are some, there are some funny scenes in it, but again, not as funny as Deadpool Wolverine, uh, but a, a decent film finally, you know, uh, from Sony <laughs> who's had a heck of a time. You, you want to say Marvel's had a hard time this last year? just look at Sony's Spider-Man universe and, you know, they're, whew, they're striking all the way out, like the uh, Chicago uh, White Sox. Um, so finally they have a decent movie. I wouldn't say this is going to be a big hit, um, but compared to all their uh, recent blunders, it's a big hit compared to that. Uh, so that's pretty much it for Venom 3, uh, The Last Dance. Uh, overall, shock a thumbs up. Go ahead and see it in theaters, especially if you're a big Tom Hardy Venom fan, and you'll enjoy it. Uh, you know, until Craven, I think that's the last movie we got from Marvel or semi adjacent Marvel with Sony until Craven in December, which should have been out in February. And I think they missed the mark on that. All right. Well, thanks so much. Mahalo and aloha.